Hey, so what is a co-living? A co-living house is a purpose-built home that looks and feels just like the house next door. The primary difference is it is built with better specs and designed in a way that invites people who do not know each other to live comfortably in a shared house, with each having access to their own bathroom en suite, lockable pantry, and other required finishes with both shared and private space. A home in the suburbs with both indoor and outdoor living areas. The current environment with shared houses or apartments are that they are not purpose built and they have intrinsic issues for both the tenant and the owner. Whereas a purpose built co-living removes these issues and allows people who want to share an ability to do so in a new way. They are usually a three bed house, each with their own bathroom en suite, designed with the tenant in mind. And if you, the investor, ever wanted to sell, any homeowner wanting to live there or an astute investor would buy it from you, giving you an exit strategy. Co-living are known to give you high yield on the rental income and also have capital growth potential, just like the house next door. So from an investor's perspective, it can be an ideal investment vehicle. Co-living property and what you want to avoid. It makes investment sense that investors just like you become aware of the current situation of the current co-living investment property market, where you understand that yield being touted are merely yields on paper and are being upsold to appeal to your sense of greed. The only way to achieve a higher yield on paper is to source cheaper land and offer a cheaper build. And we know that cheaper land has to be further out and away from required infrastructure and probably out in the sticks. So the question is, how many possible tenants want to live that far out or live on an uncomfortable floor plan in a home that is poorly designed or cramped due to smaller common areas and smaller bedrooms, etc. What type of demographic do you want to attract as your tenant anyway? A cheaper build can mean higher ongoing maintenance costs to you, thus eating into your investment returns. Would this meet your investment requirements head on or not? The result could also be a higher turnover of tenants compounded by higher running costs. So why would anybody Invest in a location that is unsuited and on a floor plan that works against attracting and holding on to tenants. Co-living and what to implement. We know that it makes investment sense to secure land in a location suited to attracting co-living tenants and the type of demographic you want as your tenant in an area where we know there is demand for co-living spaces and to build on a tried and tested floor plan with above average fittings and finishes, a home that genuinely meets the needs of tenants sharing the house. The model of improved location and suited floor plan lends itself to it becoming a valuable asset to you, the investor, returning a stropper opportunity to full occupancy consistent income streams, and thus an improved base on which you can secure a loan for your next and your next investment properties. Hey, so where to from here? On wanting to proceed after you've made your informed decision and are committed to your own goals, we will source land close to infrastructure and identify demand for co-living homes. We'll design the home to suit the local requirements have the home built for you, introduce you to a professional rental manager whose focus is on co-living tenancies whilst holding your hand through the process. Thank you for viewing our presentation on co-living property. My name is Stephen Lazar. I am the owner and director of Property Network. We've been around for 18 years helping clients invest in property. Reach out to me with your questions or what you're looking for. And let's see how we can best be of service to you. Thank you.